After having their property taken from them in Manchester, New York, Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack Smith moved about 30 miles to the southeast. They lived close by near the Seneca River in the former community of Kingdom in the area of present day Seneca Falls, New York. Lucy commented on the kindness of the people in the neighborhood in welcoming her and her husband into their lives and homes. We moved into a house belonging to an individual by the name of Kellogg. Shortly after arriving there, we were made to realize that the hearts of the people were in the hands of the Lord, for we had scarcely taken our goods out of the wagon when Mr. Osgood came and bade us welcome and invited us to drive the stock and teams into his barnyard and made us welcome to what feed we needed for them. Mr. Hooper also came with his lady and expressed great joy that we had arrived there in safety. Mr. Kellogg and his lady paid us a visit early the next day. These all were remarkably kind and frequently brought to me dishes of delicate or rare victuals that they supposed would please our taste. I appreciated most heartily those kind attentions, for I had felt the contrast so severely that I was in a situation to realize an office of friendship more than was commonly the case. Having settled ourselves in this place, we established the practice of spending the evenings in singing and praying. The neighbors soon became aware of this, and it caused our house to become a place of evening resort for some dozen or 20 persons. In the cold month of December 1830, two men from Northeastern Ohio arrived in the community of Kingdom, New York. The first, Sidney Rigdon, had received the message of the restoration from missionaries passing through Ohio on their way to Indian Territory west of Missouri and had been baptized. The second, Edward Partridge, had also heard the message but had come to New York to meet the prophet Joseph Smith personally before he made a commitment to baptism. They entered the Smith home while Joseph was holding a meeting. Following Joseph's sermon, he invited any present to make remarks as they felt appropriate. Edward Partridge arose and stated that he'd been to Manchester seeking out the Smiths and had been directed here. He explained that while in Manchester, he inquired of the Smiths' previous neighbors concerning their character and looked over the good order of the farm they sacrificed for their faith. He declared that he believed the testimony that he had heard and was ready to be baptized. If, he said, Brother Joseph will baptize me. The next day, the prophet Joseph Smith baptized Edward Partridge in the Seneca River near Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack Smith's home. Sidney Rigdon eventually served as first counselor to the prophet Joseph Smith in the first presidency of the church, and Edward Partridge was called as the first bishop in this dispensation. Soon after the arrival of brothers Partridge and Rigdon, the Lord gave three revelations through the prophet, which were most likely received in the Smith home here in the area of Old Kingdom. Sidney being called as Joseph's scribe in the inspired translation of the Bible, Edward to preach the gospel and a commandment that dramatically affected the lives of all the saints living in New York, calling them to remove from New York to the state of Ohio, some 275 miles to the west. Although their stay was brief in kingdom, the events that occurred here and the revelations received here were of great import for the young Church of Christ.